In today's video, we're taking a look at the Myers-Briggs type indicator developed by Isabel Myers-Briggs. Now, is the MBTI really as bad as we thought? People love to hound the MBTI. From a scientific point of view, it's said that the MBTI is not scientific and that it is just as bad as astrology. Wow. From another point of view, from a Jungian point of view, it's said that the Myers-Briggs type indicator is stereotypical, shallow and overly generalized. Many reject the 16 personalities and the Myers-Briggs type indicator by stating that the Jungian cognitive functions are superior and that the dichotomies are incorrect or wrong. Now, I want to talk about Isabel Myers-Briggs and why she created the Myers-Briggs type indicator. Yeah, she did it for a point. Isabel Myers-Briggs saw a large group of people in society that had no clue what they wanted to be. What kind of career should they pick? And what should they do for a living? What would make a person happy? And what she saw was that everyone has unique individual preferences. Now what she did was she looked at Carl Jung's cognitive functions and his book and his work on psychological types. And she used this in a practical sense of view, thinking of how to apply his often very theoretical and abstract insights to practical questions such as who would like to be a secretary or who would like to go into a career in business or finance. Thanks to Isabel Briggs, a lot of people got into thinking about who they were. She made people really start thinking about who they are and what they want and what kind of values they have and what kind of preferences they have. What kind of partner should I date? What kind of relationships would be good for me? And how would I like my work environment to be like in order to be happy as a person? She saw that people had different interests, different hobbies, different ways of thinking. And so she thought of and she provided solutions to help people reflect on and think about these experiences. Now, you might argue from a scientific point of view that her system doesn't work, that people's Myers-Briggs types change, that people's preferences change, that people's values change, that people's behavior changes, and that the MBTI cannot predictably study a person. But regardless of whether it's scientific or not, it certainly helped a lot of people think about their career and their relationships and about what they want in life. And isn't that a good thing? From a cognitive point of view, it's said that the cognitive functions are superior, but often when I study cognitive models of personality like JCF or BB's works, what I find is while the JCF system can provide insight into how you think and your cognition, it cannot really translate very well into tracking your behavior, lifestyle, relationships and other things. It's hard to use BB's model to determine what your ideal partner is like or what kind of life you might want for yourself, what kind of careers you might do well at. But it's very easy to use Isabel Briggs' model when you think about those questions because she found practical ways to apply the functions. Now, you might say, hey, actually, you can do both. And you're right there. Many people will say, yeah, you should only use the functions. But I say, why not use both? Actually, why not talk about introverts and extroverts? Why not talk about intuitives and sensors? Often, these things provide us with meaningful and helpful insight. And often, the MTI serves as a better introduction to newcomers, while the cognitive functions serve more for advanced reading for people that really want to get in depth on themselves, reflecting on how they think and how they make decisions. Ultimately, I think the MBTI is best used to think about how to organize your life from a practical point of view, how to apply personality psychology, while the cognitive models are meant to provide you with introspection and therapy to help you understand and think about your personal biases, ways of thinking and limiting beliefs that keep you trapped and stuck in certain roles. So definitely choose both and don't feel like you have to avoid using one above the other.